let's write a C program to find grace marks of a student using switch case. User need to enter two things that is class obtained by the student and the number of subjects he has failed. We need to use these three logics that is if the student gets first class and the number of subjects he has failed is greater than three then he does not get any grace otherwise he will get five marks per subject. So the second condition is if the student gets second class and the number of subject he has failed is greater than two then he doesn't get any grace otherwise he will get four marks per subject. If the student gets third class and the number of subject he has failed is greater than one then he doesn't get any grace otherwise he will get five marks per subject. Uh, write it down uh, whatever I have mentioned in a red color just write that down and we shall write the C program it's very easy instead of class I'll take grade because class is a keyword in C programming so grade instead of class grace I'll assign zero to it and failed so these are the three integer variables I'll ask the user to enter the class obtained by the student and store it inside the address of integer variable class sorry grade I'm using grade instead of class here so the next thing we need is how many subject the student has failed I'll store it inside the address of integer variable failed now let me directly write the switch case switch instead of class I'm using grade here so switch the grade <coughs> Sorry. so if the grade is one that is class if the student gets first class and let me bring this down if the number of subjects he has failed is greater than three then he doesn't guess then he doesn't get any grace marks so I'll assign zero to grace or else if he has not failed in more than three subjects then he gets five marks per subject as grace don't forget to include this break statement after each case let me copy this there are only three cases that is three classes first class second class and third class so we will have three cases here so for second class if the student has failed in more than two subjects then he doesn't get any grace or else he will get four marks as grace per subject so if the student has secured third class and if he has failed in more than one subject then he doesn't get any grace or else he will get five marks per subject let me also include the default segment here so default case that is I'll write you entered wrong class for the student that's it we have only three classes and couple of conditions for getting grace marks so outside this switch case I'll write a simple if statement to check if the grade selected by the user is one or two or three if he has if he has selected something else we shouldn't calculate the grace and all we need not display the grace okay if the user has entered the class one two or three then we'll display the grace the student has obtained a grace marks of percentage D per subject so that grace marks is present inside the variable grace which we calculated inside switch case so we have three uh, variables grade grace and failed we ask two things that is grade and number of subject he has failed based on grade we have only three classes that is one two and three based on that and the number of subject he has failed we will assign the grace marks for each for the student okay for second class four marks if he has failed less than two subjects if the grade selected is in one two and three then we display the grace he will get for each subject okay that's it very simple let me compile and run this program I'll give first class 
and number of subject failed is 2 so he'll be getting obtained a grace marks of 5 per subject he'll get 5 marks per subject as grace so first class that is case 1 he has failed less than 3 so he'll get a grace of 5 marks per subject so very simple and straightforward program please follow the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you